Hello everyone! Welcome back to some Film Invasion. This is the Crusader States versus Persia. I don't know why I said it like that. But yeah, we're fighting Persia. Like the Persia. The entire country. Persia was a pain sometimes in uh, the Rome Total War games. Sometimes. Speaking of, you know, I always hated how kind of weak the Spartan faction was in, um, in Rome Total War. Just as an aside, just a quick aside, like, just kind of hated it. Only 11 bots left. I think I'll just stay on this side, wait for the next wave. So, saw a trailer. Yeah, a trailer. Um, what was it called? <laughs> yep. Well, the trailer was the Warhammer 40k trailer about you being a librarian on Space Hawks, and people are calling it the Left 4 Dead for Warhammer 40k, or the Vermintide. But for Warhammer 40k, so it's gonna be you versus the Gene Stealer Broods. Yeah, that trailer's out there. They say it's gonna be out in a few months. That's cool. So many Warhammer games coming out. So many, and they're actually good. Which is the real surprise. Like, well, okay, not all of them are good. There are still some that are not great. I don't talk about those. Like, Vermintide was good, Battlefield Gothic was good, um, what was the other, other one called? Middenheim? Was it called Middenheim? Oh, what was that? It was like the turn-based strategy game that came out at the end of last year, that was cool. And then this, hopefully, is cool. There was a Space Hawk game that came out last year as well, that sucked, but like, this one is not like that one. I was just looking up... I just wish I knew what it was called. Uh, Deathwing. I think it's called Deathwing. Because you're playing as the... Dark... Ravens? Dark Angels? Dark Angels? Dark Angels? Yeah, Dark Angels. Jeez. I think that's who you're playing as. I think it's called Deathwing. Anyway, looks potentially cool. But speaking about um, Warhammer games, so the other day, the people who made Battlefleet Gothic announced some of their plans, and they said that in the coming months, they didn't specify exactly when, but they said that the Tau are coming to Battlefleet Gothic. They also said that the Tyranids will come after the Tau. And both of those things I'm really excited about. I'm super excited about. They're also going to be introducing uh, your own custom fleet colors and what else? Better matchmaking, make it easier for you and your friends to fight with each other for multiplayer and against AI, I believe is what they also said. But who cares about that because the tower coming? For the greater good, man. And then the Tyranids. I mean, I'm excited for the Tyranids, but I'm glad the town made it first. That's pretty cool. Now, they did say, though, months. So, we're probably talking at the very earliest, the ve like the maybe the beginning of fall. Maybe. If someone says months, they'd probably be months. But before that, we will get the Space Marines next month? No wait, June? Is it June? Or is it in a May? I, I don't know. I can't remember. When I saw that the, they announced the towel, that's all I really cared about, to be honest. What are I rest at? Ah, right there. So yeah, Battlefield Gothic. I hope it continues to do great, so that they eventually just get all the races in there. So everyone could be happy. I guess the next big one would be Necrons, right? Tau, Tyranid. 
And then, I mean, you got the Dark Eldar. But, like, who cares about Dark Eldar? I don't, but... I know some people do. But I would much rather have the Necrons before Dark Eldar. But that's because I actually like the Necrons. Then after that, so you got them, you got the Necrons, you got... I feel like I'm missing one. Is that it? Am I not missing a faction? Like, entirely? Eldar, Dark Eldar, Tau, Necron, Tyranid, Space Marine, Imperial Guard, Orcs, Chaos. No, that's it, right? Yeah, never mind. Okay. I mean, unless you want to get crazy in uh, Space Marines. And uh, if you want to get crazy and just be like, hey, you know how Games Workshop has all these different codexes for the Space Marine chapters? Well, now we got different Space Marine fleets. That would be dumb. Like, they could do that. Here's the Space Wolf fleet. Here's the Blood Angel fleet. Uh, Sisters so of the Battle would be pretty cool. But I don't think they have their own fleet. They would just use... Like, if they had to go somewhere, they would probably just use the Imperial fleet, right? I don't think they have their own fleet. Right? I don't know. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Farewell. These people need to get off the rooftop because they are um, glitching the AI. I don't think they care. Though. Just a thought. I don't think they care. Right flank. Oh. Sure. Oh, for, um, huh. this announcement came pretty recently, too. For Total War Warhammer, you know the Chaos Faction is a pre-order, free if you pre-order the game. Well, now they changed that a little bit, and they said for the first week of the game's release, they will still be free for people who buy the game. So now you don't necessarily have to pre-order the game if you really wanted Chaos for free. Now you can wait and see what the reviews are and see if it's a buggy piece of trash before you um, buy it. So that's actually kind of cool. Kind of cool. That they're at least going to give you a week after the game release for the faction to be free if you buy it. You know, Chaos. One of the core factions of the Warhammer universe. It's cool of them to make them free instead of you paying for this faction that's already in the game. Super cool. Super cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
But, you know, for real, it, it is a lot better situation than it was before. I imagine that probably a lot of people who are going to pre-order it have already done so, but I guess you could still cancel that and wait for the actual reviews of the game. Because, listen, I'm just, I'm just throwing this out there. Rome 2 Total War was a complete buggy mess, like, not even beta quality kind of buggy mess when it was released for the first couple months. And it took an entire year, an entire year, I remember, because I covered this game, an entire year until it got to a point where it was like, yeah, this game is actually kind of like a released state now. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. By the time it was fun, like actually kind of solid, it was the Emperor Edition, which they did do well because they gave people who already bought the game, they gave the Emperor Edition for free, which was the right thing to do since we had to deal with... An, un an unfinished game. I'm just gonna put this. It was an unfinished game that they put out. So, my, like, I, my expectations of Total War Warhammer, not high. Not high at all. Like, I know they've shown a lot of videos. Yeah, good for them. They showed a lot of videos of Rome 2 as well, and it didn't look like a buggy mess in those videos, did it? Mm mm. Mm mm. You know why? It's because marketing lies to you. It's not gonna show you a complete buggy piece of sh. You know? So, I, I don't know. I just... I have my, my doubts. Now, if it's not a buggy piece of trash, then I'm sure the game will be great. And I hope it is. But, whew. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, man. Rome 2, when that thing was released. So, like, in Rome 2... There are certain battles if you play on the coastline where you can have people in transports do a beach landing and oh my, you didn't want to do that. You did not want to do that at all because when you landed ships on the beach when that game first came out, no joke, they would jump out of the boat and then they would just jump back in and, complete, and just do that in a complete circle and they wouldn't leave. Speaking about circles, do you remember how long it took them to patch this out? The entire AI armies would just bunch up in a giant rave party, a circular rave party, I'm not even joking. Their bodies just squished in as much as possible, and they would just turn around in circles. Like, run around in circles. Do you remember when they, when they did that? Remember how long it took for that to stop? Oh my gosh. Those are the best. In a siege battle, the AI army immediately just congeals into this mass of human flesh and just a fucking rave party. And they never attacked you. They just sat in a corner. Oh my god. And you just had to wait the clock out. <laughs> I'm sure it won't be that bad again, right? Probably not, right? They wouldn't do that to us twice. <laughs> right. Party at the house, man. Oh, oh god. So many.
Dang. I was about to pick up a shield. I was going to go back and heal. <laughs> the friendly fire damage is only at 1%, so like... Listen, I had no life left, so any kind of tap was going to do it. It's totally okay. Upgrade my stuff. Capes make everything better. Oh my god, you know, Overwatch comes out next week, doesn't it? Oh man. That's gonna take up a lot of my time. Overwatch, the little amount I had to play with it in the uh, stress test was a lot of fun. A lot of fun! And it's been a while since I've really been into an FPS. I think the last one I was really into would have been Battlefield 4. Like, I've played other ones since then, but... And I enjoyed them. Like, that's the last one I really got into. I, th I think. I don't know. I've played so many games. It's kind of it's kind of what I do. And I honestly I forget about a lot of them. But anyway, yeah, Overwatch. Really looking forward to that game. What kind of sucks though is I, you know, the community around my channel. I don't know if they're really necessarily FPS fans because I usually just play a lot of strategy games, like in like role playing games. So I don't think like any Overwatch coverage is going to get a lot of views, but it's just one of those games where like I just, I don't care, um, because it's fun and so I'm probably going to play it a lot. It'd be nice if people enjoy it too, I, I hope I hope you all do enjoy Overwatch. But I have a feeling it's not going to be one of my most popular series, again just because I put this channel on, you know, Mountain Blade and strategy games and role playing and Skyrim and all that stuff. Not. FPS with my my sick FPS elite skills, you know. But yeah, I hope I hope some of you enjoy that coverage anyway. Cause I sure as hell I'm gonna enjoy playing it. But yeah, we got Overwatch, we got Total War next month, we got what else we got? Battleborn comes out next week too, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick that up. I still wanna pick up Street Fighter V, but again. That's another situation where I don't think it, it's going to really draw much attention, um, which, I mean, it, it, that is a factor when I cover games. Like, is this game going to be popular on the channel? Yes or no. If no, then probably don't play it in most cases. Overwatch is going to be an exception because it's a lot of fun. Street Fighter V, I've been on the fence about buying that game because I enjoy Street Fighter games. I love Street Fighter IV. Specifically, I loved playing the character Dan in Street Fighter 4 because he was he was a joke character and was a lot of fun to play because he was really crappy. He's a really bad character. Well, he's on the bad side. Like, he's not the worst ever made, but he was pretty bad. But he was funny as hell. Anyway, so I've been on the fence about Street Fighter 5 for a long time ever since it came out because I don't think it's going to get much attention on the channel, but I do kind of want to play it. But I also suck at it, which is another thing. And like, who wants to watch me just lose over and over and over again? Who wants to watch me just get rage-induced? No one, right? No one enjoys enjoys that type of stuff, right? Right? Anyway, yeah, so on the fence about Street Fighter V. And there's so many other games, too. So many other games. It's too many games, too little time.
I like to play European Universalis 4 again. But kind of a similar thing, the last European Universalis series I did didn't really get much attention. I enjoyed the hell out of it though. It was a great game. But it takes a long time to complete an entire game of European Universalis. A long time. Many hours. And you just gotta weigh the time versus like how much attention it's gonna get. That's just it's how I gotta think about these things sometimes. And like I'd like to play it, but is it gonna be worth my time? So you know, I got I'd like to play that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I still want to play another Skyrim series. As an orc. I want to play XCOM 2 again. With some mods. There's a mod that makes you the Predator. The Predator. The sound files and everything. There's so many mods for that game in the Steam Workshop now. So many. A lot of them are, a lot of them are cool. Yeah, I want to play XCOM 2 again, but again, like I want to play all these games that take so much time to complete, you know? And I just don't have that much time. Because I also still need to play Mountain Blade, like there always has to be a Mountain Blade video up every day. And it's funny because I don't understand. I get asked a lot like, why did you stop playing Mountain Blade? And I, like, I literally release a video, like, every day. Almost every day. I miss a day here or there. But I constantly get even private messages, like, where's the Mountain Blade video? So I'm like, what, is YouTube just not showing you that I've uploaded Mountain Blade today? Like, that one really just trips me up. I get those questions a lot. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. But anyway, there always has, always has to be a Mountain Blade video. So I, I got a lot of time for that. Um... I'm going to try in a lot of time to, or, let me try that one again, make enough time to make sure that there's a full invasion video out again every day for a while, maybe, hopefully. Um, what else are my plans? I like to play some more Chivalry, just here and there. Chivalry Medieval Warfare, that's another great game. So yeah, there's, there's, all, there's all these games. So many. Too many. Heroes of the Storm. It's a game I enjoy a lot, but again, doesn't really draw much of a crowd. Hearthstone, I would like to kind of get into Hearthstone, but that's going to take a lot of time because I, I have not played that game for like two years, really. And even when I did play it, I didn't play it that much. So my cards are from like the original game, and there's been like, what, three expansions since the original game came out? And it feels like if I were to get into that game, it would be such a hassle or it would, no not a hassle sorry it would just take a long time to get enough money in game currency to buy enough packs to make my decks actually viable or somewhat i don't know even fun to play because like i just have all the basic stuff and like i don't want to play with the base it would take a lot of time that's what i'm saying uh we also got battlefield gothic that i still need to complete the campaign for and would like to still get into multiplayer if multiplayer would ever work for me that's still being worked on right now for some reason, I just can't access it, but hopefully sometime soon, it would be fixed. I'm just getting my butt kicked here. Jeez! How can I not hit you? Uh, then, of course, we also got Dreadnought, which I just started releasing stuff. But that's going to take a long time to level up your character to get to some of the guns and equipment that I want to get to. But it's, it's a cool game. Dreadnought, the 5v5 space combat game. Well, ship combat game. I shouldn't say space combat because only one level actually takes place in space. At least for the beta. Dude, this party house needs to stop. 
Go home. Alright, I think we're going to be ending it here. So I am going to uh, do my best to take as many of them down with me. But no more blocking. Alright. I took none down with me. You would think that giant two-handed sword would kill people in one hit. It's pretty big. Do a lot of damage to somebody. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.